here and then the know. gloves. Make me an offer. Make you an offer. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Josh, AKA Lot of Josh, and I'm super excited to bring all of you along today. Someone reached out to me, a real estate agent, and she's been working with an elderly couple that's looking to clear out their entire estate. And personally, I just don't have the capacity. I don't have the manpower. I don't have the storage to buy out an entire estate. But a good friend of mine, I reached out to him, Brian. He goes by Mr. Buys a Lot on YouTube and Instagram. This is exactly what he does. He buys inventory in bulk. So I reached out to him. He's coming over to the property in a bit. I'm gonna meet up with him. We're gonna do a walkthrough. But this couple, they've been living at this property for about 50 years and they're just looking to completely downsize, move out. So I'm not really sure where this is gonna go. This is completely new to me. I'm gonna be doing a lot of learning, bringing you guys along with us, and we'll see how today goes. Yeah. It's a beautiful property though. Even if somebody wants something to put out on mm -hmm. holidays. Yeah. That's me, a guy made it for me. Okay, oh, you were in the military? Yeah. I was in the, the US Army for about five, six years. Wait a second, you mean army ain't ready to be a marine yet <laughs> <laughs> that's great God bless you. Well, the marines will take anyone and everyone if you got a pulse they'll take you hey how's it going brian what's up hi josh <laughs> you're recording i am nice to see you good to see you he said he doesn't have a lot of time they're trying to move things pretty quickly okay ron was telling me earlier within within the week right you said preferably yeah, yeah. there's not much in those buildings but I might as well Lots of tools. Yeah, like it looks like a K bar. Right here. You never know where there's gonna be something hidden. Yeah. <laughs> this is all tools. This is 50 years of stuff that's just accumulated. It's a slide projector of some sort, maybe. And he said this was just completely unpicked. He didn't have any garage sales or any Nothing estate yet. sales. Yeah, yeah, so this is all. This is all Christmas stuff here. Some fishing gear here. Yeah, here's some here too. A lot of these things are not even open. And that's it, it's virtually brand spanking around all the paperwork or everything. And do you know what you want for this? Pardon me? Do you know what you want for that? I don't know, I might take a decent offer. Okay. I know somebody that might have an interest in it. Pardon me? I said, how do you know Josh? I'm sorry. I said, how do you know Josh? Like Josh? Uh, a, fr a mutual friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Helen, right? Heather. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Heather, I, it's either Heather or Helen. <laughs> One of the other. You got the H right. right. Oh, boy. Uh, this one I like new. Yeah, they sell really well. And oh, this, I said, lawnmowers do really well in the area. I'm sorry, Brian. Oh, they, they do really good in the area. Yeah. You got a lot of baseball gloves, too. Were you a baseball player? Probably. Were you a baseball player? I was a catcher for a lot of years. Josh, did you see this? That's kind of neat. The old photographs. Very cool, yeah. Let's see. Let us see. Newspaper from 1963. It's kind of cool up here. That's neat. From the TV station. Must be blow his mind, Josh. Babe Ruth used this to hit one of his home runs. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would believe it. No, 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 I was trying to see that. I was trying to pull it off on him, and I pulled it off I on know. you. I know. Yeah. But anyhow, there's some military stuff in there. Okay. And then I got over here a 12 foot extended uh, uh, chainsaw. Oh, okay. They're all Lionels. Oh, okay, Lionel trains. Uh, that are uh, damn near 100 years old. Okay. 
80 to 100 mm -hmm. anyhow. Yeah. They were my grand, my father-in-law's. You want a rotten tomato plant? <laughs> <laughs> we got one growing right there. Uh, I got a red one there, so yeah. yeah. There's one hanging you know on. Happened? My wife and the family just came back from vacation. I guess we might as well start here and we'll run right around and then upstairs. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, take your time. Some artwork at a Magnavox VCR. That's her uh, great grandparents. Uh, that's Lady Black from Scotland. Oh, that cash register? Yeah, very oh, cool. Awesome. I liked it, that's why I yeah. wanted it. And it sat on, I had a bar there, and it sat on that bar for 50 years. Mm -hmm. This that one's much smaller than normal. Huh? That one's much smaller than normal. I've moved some of the ones with the marble Oh yeah, tops yeah, yeah, on. but they're yeah. more common. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That now this one bad. here was, here's the history on it. It was when they didn't manufacture the, National didn't manufacture the cash registers. They sold them first. Right. They sold them first. Nice corner this, covered. This yeah. looks a lot more modern than it is, but we know that it's uh, 50, 50 years plus. Yeah, plus. Yeah. In a minute, don't be down here. Up, up still, take them upstairs. Okay. This is the office. Nice. This goes with us whether he likes it or not for our daughter who died, son. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely keep that. What? In case you have a question, I might as well come up. I said so. I guess. Today, You're working overtime today. That's my 30 old six right there. Oh, okay. That's a uh, case for everything. That's a 30 old six. Yeah, your fill jacket. Be the workout for the week. Huh? Workout for the week. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> that stuff, all that stuff in there. Oh no, that's all that's my good. religious stuff. That's that stays. So uh, that's an old Gimbal's sewing machine. That goes with me. Wait a second. Okay. That's an old Gimbal's sewing machine. Junie has had it. We're married 65 years, so Junie has had that 65 years, and I don't think it ever broke down. She uses That's it awesome. like crazy. From Gimbal's. You familiar with yeah. Gimbal's? No. Yeah, the, it's the Gim department store. Yeah, it was the department oh, okay. store in Philadelphia. It was like, um, yeah. like well, competed see, with like Sears bed, gotcha. back in the okay. This bed, Junie antiqued these to match this. Mm -hmm. right. This was plain, and she antiqued this as well. Okay. But I, I understand it can be dipped in a strip and just stripped mm -hmm. right off. Yeah. yeah. But it's got to be. I'm going to be conservative. I got it's it. Gotta, it was like wait, 50 years old. It has to be 100. Yeah. Okay. It's conservative. It's 70 plus years mm -hmm. old. Right. Wow. And we see them down at the James River plantations. Yep. We got just a little. One more room. Little. Yeah, That's 25 that. pounds. Two of them, yeah. Oh, oh. <coughs> These are all personal. Ladder back cane chair. Pardon me? Set of ladder back chair. A pair of ladder back chairs. Yeah. yeah. And those white cabinets, they can go. Okay. 
the bedroom set. Mm -hmm. There you go. We're going to sleep standing up from now on. <laughs> At 85, we don't have sex anymore, so we can sleep standing up. I hear you. <laughs> Ever magnet fished? I've never, no. Right. In these TV sets, the magnet, <coughs> when there, there's two of them. Right, with the wire wrapped around in the back they, of the coil. And they, and they join together, okay, like this, Josh. Tie it around each half of the magnet so two guys could magnet fish at the same yeah. time. Who the, you ever see it's such like a good looking guy in your life? <laughs> 1958. <laughs> Who is that man? And there'll be ones, this one's probably places, there's, looks like mushrooms, animals, wild flowers. Life in the bay, prehistoric life, so like dinosaurs, mm -hmm. and tells them. Pretty neat. This drape got right here. We can put it right back on. Yep, I'll put it right Black. back up there. Yeah, you can always look on the I bottom. So these are Lionel. Okay. And it's not a tree. And they have really neat signage. All three cases. Station, which yeah, is one of the two bulbs. Cool. We've got the markings down here. Yep, Lionel. At this time period, it was pretty much Lionel in U.S. and uh, American Flyer. We're pretty much... That's you. You're two. So a lot of track and some switches in this box. It's actually a good piece. This one you don't see a lot. The water tower. That's what I said to you when I, Yeah. That's what I, when I said I know there's one thing you don't like this. Yeah. You don't see this a lot, and usually they're broke. Yeah. These are all in really good condition. Well cut. It's got a little dust on them. That's about it, though. Yeah. A loader. A track set. A luggage car. I think there's a couple of locomotives in there. Yeah, down in the bottom, I saw. Looks like a Santa Fe from here. Isn't there oh, a it's case, Union Pacific. Isn't there a case of track? Yeah. The yeah, that was the, the top box. Oh. Most a couple more passenger cars there. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of boxes down there too. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Which side? So whistling tender, a gondola car, and a yellow box car. So when you look at Lionel's, you see how this one has three moving wheels mm -hmm. in the center base. If it has two moving wheels, they're not as good. Okay. They go up from two to four yeah. sets of moving wheels. So anything above two is a little bit better. And then right. four is the best, Okay. you know, the top of the line stuff. And you always have to check the cow catcher in the front to make mm -hmm. sure they're not broken. And these are always really easy to check, like if you're going to comp them. They have numbers. Oh, okay. So you just type so in just Lionel type in. 2025. Nice. And what you'll notice here, if you fill this one. Oh, wow, it's really heavy. heavy. And then you fill that one. Okay. It's a little bit lighter. Yeah. So this is a dummy car that would go behind that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's like almost triple the weight, it feels like. Yep. Another one I used, I guess, when I was at the Philadelphia Bulletin. Just a lot of memories tied to these clothes, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. They're my cleats. Uh, yeah, it looks like there. everything's fine here. Uh, uh oh, a tug. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> these are, I, I don't think you would play in these, but these are just a cool piece to keep. Converse baseball cleats. They might be my son's instead of mine. Yeah? They might be Ronnie's, but they're fine. All of these are fine, yeah. Yeah. And did you want to keep one of these? I know you said you had some like home uh, videos. Nah. We're 85. We're not going to watch them. The kids will watch them. Mm -hmm. Let them get them. Can I get you anything else, John? No, no, the water is more sure? than enough. That's, yeah, How about you, Ryan? Fine. I'm good. Thank you very much, though. And then for me, what, what were you thinking in terms of these players here and then? I don't the know. gloves. Make me an offer. Make you an offer. Oh man, I hate. I always hate making the first offer. Because <laughs> this will sell for about like fifty, and then this will be about like eighty, ninety, maybe a hundred if I'm willing to wait. Uh -huh. And then I think two of the gloves are really good. 
definitely this first. And then the catcher's mitt over there. And then the hats and the shoes, I'm not really sure. The what? The hats and the shoes, I'm not really sure what they're worth. And then the other gloves, I haven't looked them up. Hmm. 125 for everything? Yeah, why not? Okay, awesome. Now I appreciate you even just letting us come by and just look through everything. Awesome. My wife's against it, but I say let's get rid of it all. Yeah. So we're going to rent a one bedroom when we find one up here. I just as soon go with all new furniture and just the basics. We don't have company, we don't have this, it's only our ugly kids and they all look like their mother. <laughs> So yeah, I'll definitely uh, I'll yeah. be in touch probably within the next two days. That sounds good. Uh, I'm not gonna yeah. stand up. No, it was no, a pleasure. No. Okay. Thank you so much. And I will be in touch. Okay, good. Thanks. And let me say this to you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I will remember you in my trails, and I do have a method for that. Believe me, you will be remembered. And she she knows. I have a method for that. You, the two of you individually, will be remembered in my trails for the rest of my life. Oh, we definitely appreciate that. You. Absolutely. That means a lot. So I yeah. will remember you in your my trails, and God bless you. Hey, thank you. God thank bless you. you too. Okay. Thank you, Ron. It was a pleasure. Uh, thanks, guys. And I'll be in touch. It's been a pleasure. All right, so I'm back home now. I'll show you guys what I picked up for $125. But honestly, I didn't go into today with a sourcing mindset. Um, it was more for a learning experience. Like I was telling you guys at the start of this video, like I don't have the capacity to do an entire estate clean out. So I'll leave that up to the pros, but I just kind of want to walk through and see the behind the scenes for, you know, what someone's going through when they're just trying to get rid of everything. You know, there was 50 years of accumulation during the downsize to a one bedroom apartment, essentially just buy brand new furniture. So they just really wanted to get rid of almost everything um, within a week. So I just wanted to see what needed to happen to move that much stuff in a short amount of time. Um, definitely learned a lot today and I was able to spend the day with really good people. Um, so overall a really good day. Um, let me show you guys what I picked up. So I grabbed a couple of electronics. This is a digital converter. These two items are the big ticket items. These Magnavox units, a VCR player and then a combo unit. Big plus without a doubt is that I have the remotes for them and I also have the manual for the combo unit. So having the manual and the remote for the combo unit is definitely gonna let me get top dollar. Um, probably $100 plus uh, we'll say like $20 for shipping and then I'll have the real comps up for this VCR unit. I also grabbed Ron's glove collection. So there's six gloves here. Um, the two that are definitely going to sell well is this Wilson first baseman glove and then this catcher's mitt here. This is a Rawlings. But this catcher's mitt and the first baseman club will definitely sell well. And then I'll have to look up the other floor gloves individually. Um, but these will definitely all sell without a doubt. And then this Converse baseball cleats. I have no idea what these are worth, but I just grabbed them just because I thought they were cool. Soles are in really good condition. Um, this will probably just be more so a collector's piece for whoever ends up buying it. And then I also grabbed um, three vintage hats, truck caps. I thought these were pretty cool. This one says Clippers, yellow, all mesh hats. This one has the McDonald's logo, says Camp Snoopy. Copyright 1958 United Feature Syndicate Incorporated, but there's a Snoopy graphic and then the McDonald's logo. I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean these. Maybe I'll do a video, you know, do some research on how to restore vintage trucker caps and then do a video on it. Uh, made in the USA. And then this one's super cool as well. Um, it says Buick GMC Trucks, has a little truck. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Um, this navy blue trucker cap. Just thought these were super cool. I don't know what these are worth, um, but I thought they were worth grabbing. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I had a really good day. Hopefully I was able to capture everything and put everything in video format for all of you to ride along and enjoy the day with me as well. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.